So this is the crap clock finished. Well, this one isn't the finished one. This is one that we can open up and have a look inside. So we've got a couple of buttons on the top. So this is the case. I really love the case. A um, couple of buttons. These are actually really rubbish. So I wouldn't recommend buying these buttons, but they're what I bought and what I've put on. Um, they don't have uh, a really reliable press on them. It's sort of, not only does it bounce and I'm sort of changing that in, uh, in software, but uh, sometimes you really have to press down very hard or it won't make contact. So they're just not great. Um, but inside, so we've got this 3D printed case. It has a lip around uh, the lid. That's glued on because it was a bit of an afterthought. I realized that I probably want to take this apart, so I want it to be press fit. Uh, we've got a little stand for the PCB to hold onto, well, push into. And then we've got a battery in here as well. Now this is a lithium, uh, what is it, a lithium ion? Yeah, lithium ion, 3.7 volt battery. That's keeping the DS3231 in check. So it makes sure it keeps the time. It sips a tiny amount of current. It's somewhere in the microamps range. Now, I like the case. Oh, actually, I've got a, a little cutout here for a bit of acrylic. I like the case a lot. And this one's my favorite one because it has these pink LEDs on it. Uh, green LEDs here, pink there. Uh, do I have a cable for that? Mm, yeah, I do. Let's plug that one in. So this one isn't sort of hooked up with all the right electronics, but I can just throw a USB on there because I put one on the board. So, I mean, it's so hard to see in this light. Let's uh, borrow the acrylic from another one, shall we? There we go. That's a bit easier, isn't it? So you can see we've got green, orange and pink or purple, maybe violet, perhaps. Those are the LEDs. Now, I like this one the most, but I haven't finished this one yet. So let's just... Uh, unplug it and bring in the one that actually is sort of all together. So this is the finished article. Now this isn't the one with the pink LEDs. This one has orange LEDs and you can see that it's in the case. The lid isn't glued on yet, but um, I wanted you to see what was inside. Uh, but we've shown that on the other one, so I won't bother with this one. But um, you can see that the time's running through there. This one's sort of boring with the orange LEDs, but it sort of goes with the case. Now the case is designed so that you see the time from an angle. You don't see it straight on. You have to be sort of slightly above it. So if it's a desk clock, you just look down at the desk and you'd be able to see the time. At uh, It's at an angle in here, so you can see that it's sort of slightly angled. Now, obviously those LEDs are sort of dimmed, but there's the ability to have an LDR added to this board so that the ambient light can set the, the brightness of these LEDs. Currently, I think they're set to about 50%. Now, the buttons on the top, I thought we'd walk through the... Uh, the usage of the clock. So we've got two buttons, forward and back, and they also have other uses. So if I press it, it'll tell me what the day is. If I press it back again, that one goes back, this one goes forward, and eventually we'll get to a part where we can set the time. And these are the menus, or the modes, I think I've called them. So this says it's Saturday. Um, I think I've just set the date wrong on here on purpose, but uh, we've got the date, which is the 29th of the 7th. It isn't. Uh, 2021, definitely not that year. And then we've got the temperature, which says it's 31.5 degrees Celsius. Um, it isn't. <laughs> the uh, The temperature is read from the DS3231, and so it's not very accurate. But it is very warm today. It's probably in the high 20s, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's only a few degrees out. So carrying on, we get to set the time and now it's asking for the hour. It is actually seven. It's now five o'clock. So that is correct. And I've just increased it by pressing this button here. And I can confirm that change by pressing that one there, or I can continue through and change it to the correct time. So if I just hold it, hold the button down, it will make the changes. There we are 17 and then confirm. And then we're on to the minutes section. So it says 43 minutes. It's actually 41 minutes past, uh, but I'll leave that. And then by the time we've finished, it'll actually be the right time, I think. So confirm that. These buttons are so terrible. <laughs> there we go. Now we go on to the day. It's the 29th, so I'm going to leave that. 
Oh, I've skipped past the month now. These uh, The buttons aren't very good. I wish I had some better ones in there. And it's 2021. There's no way of actually going back on this date now. So I might have to include that in the software, but you'll, um, you'll see that our date has changed or rather our year has changed. So 2033. And we can go through and go through all that process again if we want to. I think what I've done with the year is have it loop round at uh, 2050. So it won't actually be that old, but that's, that's the operation of the clock. Um, I'm pretty darn happy with it actually. Once that's all glued together, I'll be happy to have one of these in my house. Now, obviously it doesn't need to say crap clock, so you can make it say anything you like. Um, but you can see down here, we've got uh, the mode set, mode and set, so plus plus and minus minus. So those are our buttons that helps us navigate the modes of the clock. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the uh, the crap clock. It's been a long time coming. I think I started designing this close to two years ago, uh, on and off, mostly off. Uh, so the links to the PCB design files, so that's the schematic and the board layout from Eagle are in the description, as well as the STL files for the case and the code itself. Alongside that, you'll find the bill of materials with all the parts that you'll need to make it. Now, I'm on version four at the moment, but I'm distributing version three of the code because version four does not work very well. So you'll have to put up with version three until I release a new one.